Imagine yourself living in a breezy lifestyle community bustling with life and beauty that sort of reminds you of a faraway place with peaceful urban courtyards, even alfresco dining spots, and cobblestone pavements. Well, you don't have to travel far to experience all these. This is Life Unhurried at Alveolan Sportico. Okay, Miss Yang, let's talk about um, Ortigas. What makes Ortigas an ideal property for an Ayala development? Ortigas is conveniently centrally located mm -hmm. uh, in Metro Manila. So it's close to Quezon City in the north, where Ayala Land is also building a new business district called Virtus North. Yeah. Yes, and in the south, it's close to Makati mm -hmm. and Bonifacio Global City. Mm -hmm. Now, Ortigas is in itself and of itself is a major business district. So it's a highly networked location, thus providing uh, easy access to places of work mm -hmm. and uh, to institutions that are important to the family, such as schools, right. uh, medical facilities, um, banking, as well as recreational uh, facilities. Mm -hmm. um, the specific site of Porticos is on the quiet side of Ortigas, so that makes it a very ideal location for residential development. It's sort of between C5, you're near, and then EDSA, you're also yeah, near. Straddled by C5 and, and uh, yes, and EDSA. Tell us about the concept of Portico. Portico, uh, it's a multi-tower residential development with a commercial node. And the master plan features prominent courtyards. No? When we prepared the concept for Portico, we considered two elements in the master plan. Mm -hmm. And these two elements are greenery, open spaces, you know, that breath of fresh air that provides relief amid the chaos. And two, it's uh, a sense of community that defines a unique cultural experience when you're living in a city. That's very Ayala, the green spaces, yes. open spaces, that is something in most all your properties that's really priority. Pero I'm interested in this sense of community. Kasi nga now, parang condo living, kanya-kanya, parang ganon. So how does Portico address this sense of community part? Alveoland being the residential, the innovative uh, friend of Ayala Land, uh, we always enjoy standing up to challenges. So what we envisioned for Portico was um, a product that's really hinged on or anchored on open spaces, a lot of greenery, and an interesting retail node, no? an interesting retail corridor. Mm -hmm. I guess having that sense of place and building that cultural experience, um, encouraging people to converge in that particular, in that kind of space, that's the cultural experience that we're talking about, having shared uh, spaces, I guess, and being able to enjoy that amount of openness in that particular location. Um, the courtyards, we have about nine. Having those courtyards would allow our market to enjoy that refreshing open space that you would find delightful, but I guess also unique no, here in a city setting. Um, one courtyard would be about, would measure about 1,000 to 1,400 square meters. So it's in a contiguous space. It's a landscaped area, mm -hmm. so as you go down the lobby, your doors would open up to a green space. So apart from the courtyards, or to support that proposition, mm -hmm. we've actually reduced the footprint of our buildings, of the towers, mm -hmm. so we can dedicate about 60% of the area to open space. 60? 60%. 60%. Wow, yes. that's big for a city development. Well, it's only 3.6 hectares, and that was a challenge that was posed to us. It's tempting to maximize, but Ayala Land is not about uh, really maximizing mm -hmm. space, it's optimizing and being able to deliver a, a memorable experience to its customers. And one other way of um, maximizing or opening, opening the space up uh, is that we've diverted all vehicular traffic uh, below ground. Ah. Yeah, so, um, Regular circulation, parking spaces would be below ground so that we get to free up the ground space for pedestrians to enjoy. Let's talk about the retail part. What type of um, retail establishments will you have? Well, the retail corridor, uh, we're looking at a unique mix of merchants. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really meant to uh, engage the customers also. No? And the retail would be, um, we envision it to be a new destination in the Ortigas area. Uh, artisanal merchandise will be offered mm -hmm. and there's going to be it's going to be an open plan uh, dining experience so that you also get to engage uh, the courtyards so we have alfresco seating oh, okay let's talk about the units itself so we're here in one of the 
um, sample units. The portico buildings would have a glass ratio of about 34%. Okay. Yeah, so to kind of open up the views as well coming mm -hmm. from the unit. So if you're in the building, you're looking out onto the gardens. That's great. Okay, so aside from this opening up, not just for the view, but also for the sunlight. You for know, ventilation the daytime, right? and yeah, and illumination. Right now, we're inside a twin flat unit, mm -hmm. which is another special offering uh, of Portico. Basically, it's a flexible, uh, multi-use three-bedroom unit mm -hmm. that can accommodate big families. And it's also a unit that would uh, appeal to investors. Mm -hmm. So depending on the, the need and the intent of the unit owner, yeah. you can choose to um, occupy the entire apartment or maybe lease one of the units right. without sacrificing privacy because uh, it's a studio and a two-bedroom combination, but it would have uh, separate kitchens mm -hmm. and uh, private entryways. Oh, okay. The feel that I get from Portico is more of um, trying to marry your traditional village yes. and the condo lifestyle. Yes. It's like old world meeting, meeting the new. Right. So what type of personality do you feel is perfect for Portico? Uh, we're looking at um, young families mm -hmm. and early nesters. We're looking at executives working in the CBDs. Also grown-up children uh, mm -hmm. belonging to the families uh, in the surroundings of the Vichons right. who would require their own space. But without losing touch with the family as That's well. right. It's, uh, it's easy to switch on and off because uh, yeah, work is intense, studying is intense, or managing your own business is, is intense. So you want to be able to go home to a place that kind of quiets you down yeah. so that you're able to regain a sense of balance. So that's why it's life unhurried. Yes. The, well, the lifestyle basically sort of persuades you to slow down, uh, take a breath, mm -hmm. um, yeah, relax a bit, and maybe reconnect. No? So that's what Portico is all about. Anyone who has a penchant for living well would want to call Portico his or her own home. With a location that is just a heartbeat away from the Ortigas Central Business District and with a lot of new discoveries waiting around every corner, Portico is indeed a community beyond compare.